Yes, I'm uh, Michele Sculati. I'm a medical doctor. I work as a clinical nutritionist, so I have a sub-specialization in the field of obesity and uh, ingestive behavior. I did some research uh, in the US uh, in the laboratory of ingestive behavior led by Professor Barbara Rolls, who inspired me. And uh, I'm, I'm here now to talk about uh, the yogurt and in particular the the yogurt during the childhood. Things that make yogurt so special are bacteria, which are responsible for its fermentation and add uh, nutritional uh, values, both uh, for nutrients, micro and micronutrients, and for its uh, probiotic properties. Uh, the nutritional properties of yogurt, or at least the nutritional profile of yogurt, uh, includes a substantial amount of micro and micronutrients, such as high quality proteins, which are rich in uh, uh, essential amino acids, and particular kinds of lipids, such as conjugated linoleic acid, vitamins, such as B2, B12, and B3, and minerals, such as for in particular calcium, but even uh, zinc or iodium. Uh, in general, overall, it is considered to be a nutrient-dense uh, food and uh, a low energy density food. And uh, being a, a nutrient-dense food is essential uh, for uh, consider uh, it a healthy food. From a sensory and taste perspective, yogurt is a sour food and may play a role in the flavor learning processes during childhood thanks to its creamy texture, widening the spectrum of other sour food eaten, such as fruits. Yogurt is one of the best sources of calcium, whose high bioavailability is granted by milk protein casein that increases calcium solubility and absorption rate. Its bioavailability is granted by the acid matrix of the product and enhanced by lack of absorption inhibitors in milk. Talking about minerals, it also provides a smaller amount of phosphorus, magnesium, zinc, and potassium. Affordability is an important feature, and the yogurt is an affordable so source of calcium and of other important nutrients for growing children. So, children who consume yogurt show higher intake of dietary fiber and lower intakes of total fat and sodium compared to cons non consumers. These results suggest that yogurt consumed consumers eat higher amounts of healthy food. Yogurt consumption might displace energy dense snacks such as sweets and probably. Also for this reason, higher consumption of yogurt throughout childhood is related to a higher diet quality. Nonetheless, advice must be given to choosing the right product and avoid increasing the total free sugars intake. The beneficial effects of yogurt are multiple. For example, uh, improved glucose tolerance, uh, better results on overweight and obesity rates. And uh, in different studies, both in Europe and the uh, US, the regular uh, yogurt consu consumptions uh, led to a decrease of 20% in the in incidence of type 2 diabetes. Uh, in other studies, yogurt is associated with an improvement in metabolic profile, including biomarkers for cardiovascular risk, such as triglycerides, glucose, lower blood pressure, and insulin resistance. In the manipulation of gut microbiota composition by yogurt and probiotic consumption during infancy, 
could offer an interesting approach to prevent childhood obesity, health-related dysbiosis, as well as immune function. Common infectious diseases are endemic in the pediatric population, such as upper respiratory tract infections, lower respiratory tract infections, and gastrointestinal tract infections. Children attending daycare centers are particularly vulnerable to common infection diseases, and preventive intervention within this population has been evaluated. A lower incidence rate for common infection diseases and a reduced risk of upper respiratory tract infections were observed among preschooler children and a lower incidence of gastrointestinal episodes was reported in infants when they were supplemented with a probiotic dietary, dietary drink containing lactobacillus casei or lactobacillus rhamnosus. Additionally, in toddlers, probiotic yogurt may reduce rhinitis episodes. Regarding gastrointestinal diseases, supplementation with, with probiotic yogurt leads to a lower incidence of severe diarrhea in children. Exposure to yogurt during early childhood has a potential role in reducing re the risk of atopic-related diseases, in particular promising effects of reduced risk of atopic dermatitis in children. This is because the higher proportion of favorable species, for example, bifidobacterial, was considered consistently linked to the redu reduction of the production of cytokines, in particular interleukin-6, and this was associated with a reduced systemic response to the antigens. Cow milk proteins in yogurt are partially degraded into bioactive peptides thanks to the enzymatic activity of the, cul the living cultures, resulting in compounds with potential health benefits, such as lactopeptides with antihypertensive effects, or the sequence 94-123 beta bovine casein, which increases the production of mucin. Mucin is an important component of the mucus layer, essential for the intestinal burial and crucial for a healthy symbiosis between gut and microbiota. The gut microbiome is a, a crucial factor in defining the host health status. From the gut health up to its intriguing implications, such as the gut-brain axis, overall we can say that in the world of medicine we are facing a clinical revolution. Health, in fact, is strongly related to the quality of our microbiota, and targeting microbiota dysbiosis will be a huge challenge for medicine. Yogurt and fermented milk currently constitute the principal food vehicle for the administration of probiotics in the human population. Dairy products may affect the gut microbiota mainly via three different mechanistic pathways. The first is via enhancing the growth of beneficial strains, probiotic strains suppressing the pathogenic strains, and the third is altering the uh, gastrointestinal environment, for example, influencing the composition of the mucus layer. Conventional yogurt is fermented with Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus. But on the market, there is a large variety of yogurt made with probiotic strains. The most common are Lactobacillus acidophilus, 
Lactobacterium bifidus, Bifidobacterium lactis, Lactobacillum casei, or Lactobacillus rhamnosus. The benefits of yogurt consumption are most likely due to its effects on the gut microbiota. For this reason, I encourage the introduction of prebiotic yogurts, besides conventional yogurt. Being diversity one of the key features of a healthy microbiota, variety of probiotic strains ingested with probiotic yogurts is, in my opinion, desirable.